My name is Vinicius Magalhães, as known as better in the fighting scene as Draculino. I'm 38 years old right now, I'm not getting younger, uh, and uh, I was born in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Um, it's maybe the, not maybe, the second largest city in Brazil, and uh, that's where basically Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was born, so I was lucky enough to, to be part of that, you know. Um, my parents are from Rio de Janeiro also, my father Roberto, my mother Anna, and I have two brothers, I have one brother and a sister actually. I have my brother Mauricio, my, my daughter, uh, my sister Livia, and uh, none of them do Jiu Jitsu, just me. <laughs> and uh, also I have a beautiful family, I have my wife uh, Monica, she has the prettiest eyes ever. <laughs> And uh, I have two beautiful kids. I have Jade, she's 15 year old. Actually not a kid, she's uh, almost an adult. She's a teenager. And Igor, Igor's 12 years old, okay? I have really good memories about my childhood. Um, I used to, to play a lot of soccer and, uh, and I used to surf a lot. And that's because of surfing that I get to know, uh, they, get, they get contact, the first contact with Jiu Jitsu. Actually before Jiu Jitsu, I used to train Judo a little bit. Uh, I got, I believe, my yellow belt in judo as a kid. But uh, it was a good sport, but uh, never hooked me too much in a way that I would stop doing everything in, like I did in jiu-jitsu. So um, at, through surfing, I got to know a lot of people that already were training jiu-jitsu. Actually, the Gracie family, Hanzo, High and Half Gracie, my good friends were kind of neighbors and we used to surf together in a, in a spot called Cabrama in, in Rio de Janeiro, like really good waves. And also got to know uh, Totila Jordan. Uh, his nickname is Pitoko. He was a purple belt by the time. And he was the one that taught me the first lessons. And uh, after I got hooked, uh, I moved to the Gracie Academy uh, because of Half. Half set me up on the school and everything. And uh, that's where I am till now. You know? Draculino. How did this you know, unique nickname came to me, you know? Uh, that was a math professor's fault, you know what I mean? Uh, I was baby, I don't know, I believe I was like 10, 8, 10, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I know I was really young and I was a really active kid in school, so I was, you know, talking or doing some something during the class and something and uh, this math teacher stopped the class. I say, hey, hey kid, you talk a lot, you never stop, and you know what? He was kind of like a, a smart ass kind of guy. And uh, he said, yeah, you know, I'm gonna call you now Dracula because you have this this dark thing underneath your eyes, but you're a small guy, so you're gonna be called you Draculino, and everybody, kak, 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 everybody began to, to laugh out loud and everything, and uh, of course I got mad, you know what I mean? That's why the, that's why the nickname stick, stuck to me, you know? When you get mad, I'm gonna tell you something. When you get mad about a nickname, don't show anybody that you get mad because if you show, it gets stick to it. So, you know, I'm Draculino since, today, since that day. You know what I mean? Because I got mad, so. Guys, I was 14 years old when I began to trade Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, I was not really, really young or really a kid, but I have a good foundation from Judo. And I was always a, like a really athletic boy, so uh, I, I, I got the, the techniques and I got the spirit of the, of the training really fast. Um, basically, what made me pursue and keep continuing training Jiu-Jitsu, I would say that I fell in love with the art on the first day, you know, like I thought it was like a really, really effective way you know, to, 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 to defend yourself and uh, because I was always a lightweight and small guy, uh, it fit perfect for me, you know what I mean? Uh, I think it was like the beauty of the thing is that uh, a smaller guy could subdue like a bigger guy and that's what really I was tripped. I mean like, hey, this is great. And also a lot of good friends of mine are training, so it was good because besides the, the art being like beautiful and awesome, uh, I had good friends around, so it was perfect, it was win-win. I believe uh, 
one of the most, you know, memorable times. It was actually a fight, you know what I mean? Uh, it was a, a situation that uh, I was, I think I was 15 years old, and I was surfing in the beach with a bunch of friends of mine, and uh, there was this guy, I think he was like maybe 22. He was not a big guy, he was bigger than me of course, but a big guy, and he was surfing with us, and uh, he got one friend of mine. This friend of mine was a little younger than me. His name is Rodrigo. And uh, I don't know, they got in a disagreement there, surfing, whatever, and uh, he got Rodrigo like through the hair and put his, his head, his face like on the water, like teaching him a lesson kind of thing, and uh, Rodrigo was crying. Uh, I didn't see that, but uh, when I was out of the water, Rodrigo came to us and said, man, the guy crying, but the guy, you know, try to, you know, drown me or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, really? And then he was telling us that, I was, we are listening, and then this guy come out of the water with the surfboard, and uh, I mean, we didn't know, like, we were kind of shocked listening to the story. The guy comes to us, yeah, I did this to this kid, so what are you guys gonna do? You know what I mean? And he threw the, the board on the on, on the sand, and he goes, and, uh, yeah, why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? To me, you know what I mean? And he froze a haymaker, you know, like, I was like, oh. But I mean, that's when I saw that the jiu-jitsu training gives you a really good reflex and can save your life, actually. So I dodged the, the punch, I took him down on a double leg, I got the mount position on him, and really, really punched him and controlling the mount position on the sand, got his back, and choked him out. I was, choking him, unconscious, and people split the fight right away, and and uh, I was like really, really mad with that, because I mean, he came to me, he, he was the aggressor, and he was a bigger guy, he was an adult, and uh, after that, the guy was kind of surprised looking at me, and his older brother was like a huge guy, you guys don't understand, like 250 or something, came to me and gave me a headbutt on the, on the head, on the cheek here, I didn't see, he was kind of from the side, Boom. and telling me, you coward. I say, hey, wait a minute. He's way bigger than me. He's an adult, and we're saying you're a coward. But you know, uh, that's what I really saw that uh, we have in our hands a beautiful art and a really effective art. It was the first time that I fought an adult, and I was 15 years old, you know, so it was really, really, I never forgot this day, you know what I mean? <laughs>